Watercolor brushes are pretty easy to clean and take care of, but they can also be easy to damage. So here are some quick tips for how to take care of your watercolor brushes so they last. Before you even start a painting, spray all your paints down with water so that they soften and are easier to pick up. That way you don't have to scrub paints a lot with your brush, which is kind of hard on the bristles. And then also, as you're painting, just try not to be too rough on the brush. Remember that watercolor brushes tend to be softer than other brushes, and so they can get damaged more easily. Of course, that's not to say you can't use your brushes and use them for things like textures, but just try not to be rough on them unnecessarily. So shoving a brush away from you like this is really rough on the bristles and it makes them splay outwards like this. So make strokes coming towards you and be gentler on the brush. And when picking up paint or mixing paint colors on your palette, it's best to generally only use the side of the brush instead of the tip. When you're finished painting, just rinse the brush thoroughly in water until it's clean. Then you can wipe off excess water onto a rag or paper towel, reshape the tip with your fingers, and then lay it flat to dry so that no water gets down inside the metal part of the brush. When a brush is wet, you always want to either lay it flat or hanging with the bristles pointed downward as it dries, but once brushes are dry, you can store them any way you want to as long as the bristles aren't bent. And then every so often, you can give your brushes a deep clean with either mild soap and water or a brush soap like this one here. So just swirl the bristles around in soap and water until no color comes out of the brush, and clean especially well at the base of the bristles where pigment tends to gather. And if you're using a brush soap like this one, you can even coat the bristles with a light layer of the soap when you're done, and that will help the bristles keep their shape. And then you'll just want to rinse that out before you start painting next time. You should never leave brushes sitting in your water jar like this. It's really bad for the bristles, it bends them, and it's also bad for the wooden handles. I used to do this all the time when I was new to watercolor, and you can see what it does to the wooden handles. They crack and peel, and it can also bend bristles completely out of shape. It's just really bad for your brushes, so don't do it. You also don't want to stand wet brushes up like this because water can run down inside the metal part of the brush and really damage it over time, so always lay brushes flat when they're wet. And also, if you do a lot of this sort of thing with your brush, that's not great because it just damages the tip. When you're rough on a brush tip like that, it makes the bristles splay outwards and it gets frayed and it's hard to make neat strokes with that brush anymore. It's just really frustrating, especially if it's something like a detail brush where you really need those fine lines. So taking care of tiny detail brushes is especially important because you really need those for the fine details and you want those tips to stay nice and pointed. The cool thing is that if you take really good care of your watercolor brushes, they can last you for a really long time. And that's great because good watercolor brushes aren't cheap, so you want to make sure that you can use them for as long as possible. And if you keep the plastic tubes that brushes come in when you first get them, those are really handy for protecting the tips while you're traveling or just keeping them in storage. Now, if we're being honest, none of us takes perfect care of our brushes all the time, and we're all rough on them sometimes, but if you make these kinds of things a habit, then you won't even have to think about it most of the time, and your brushes will stay in good shape for much longer.